Hey, Shalom. All glorification, honor, and praise going out to Yahweh by Simeon side by Simra Kakwadas. And double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule the church well. And I want to say salutations, peace, and blessings to the Bayashah Dawada, that is the house of David the elect. I'm Shamar Moff, and uh, yeah, um, <laughs> PSA, um, I uploaded a video earlier today. Today is um, Wednesday, May the 17th, 2023, right? The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. And um, <laughs> normally I'll listen to my, my, my videos before I upload them. You know, nine times out of ten, I will. So anyway, the one I uploaded um, this morning, it was entitled "Without Faith, It's Impossible to Please Yahweh." Like when you get into the five minute mark, like it, the the video just goes silent, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo the lesson. So yeah, anyway, uh, Salakia for that. And you know, Lord willing, that won't happen again. I got a new phone, um, and I downloaded a new recorder, and. uh it wasn't the recorder I, I was used to using, so I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. But anyways, um, this video I want to get into, all right, the recent controversy with um, some of the IUIC leaders, you know, having a problem, you know, with us talking about the MOTB all the time. But I can't think of anything else that we need to, fo you know, that needs to be focused on more than that, because that's like the last prophecy that's going to be fulfilled prior to the Lord coming back. You know, because that's going to precede the nukes coming and that's going to precede the Lord's return. So, you know, what what uh, um what would be <laughs> well, what what can be more important than that? You know, warning Israel um to, you know, refuse that. But, you know, some of these dudes, they just got it. They got a problem with it. And uh, for years, these these IUIC guys, you know, starting at the top with their leader. Uh, Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel, all right, they, they, they've been scoffing and mocking, saying that the mark of the beast is a trade embargo or saying that it's, 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 it's every other thing except the sea hub. All right. And, um, you know, I was listening to um, the elder Yashar Wamba earlier today as well. He went in on this topic and he was he made a comment and I'm going to paraphrase what he said, but he made a comment. You know, something to the effect of, um, you know, pretty soon they're going to come out and they're going to start admitting that it's the sea hub and they're going to be telling their congregation, oh, see, we, we, we've been saying that all along, you know, and I wouldn't that wouldn't be uh, surprising at all. But um, it is plain to see that that's what it is. No, no, no longer can you can it be denied. I mean, you can deny it. You know, the Lord's got to have a, 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 a heavy, wicked spirit on you, you know. At this point, if you're able to deny, you know, the facts, you know, if you can't see, you know, that that's what it is. Um, let me jump into some scriptures. This is real impromptu, so I'm, I'm just kind of going in the spirit. But yeah, there. What else, what else could be more important at this point than talking about the MOTB and the hour of temptation, which that that hour of temptation is going to try everyone on this planet and the elect of. Israel, okay, you so-called, so-called blacks, Hispanics, natives, all right, and those of you mingling among the heathen, those are the Israelite foreigners, as the Lord's chosen people is going to try you the hardest, all right, and the elect of you, and Lord willing, that's us, are, you, you're going to, you're going to uh, um, pass that test, man, uh, you're going to get through that hour, the same way um, Yahweh Shai got through his hour of temptation, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he didn't want to go to that cross at all, you know, when he asked the father, he said, he asked his heavenly father, is there any other way? You know, but then he said, you know, that not my will, your will be done. So he, 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 um, he made it through his hour, you know, and his men. All right. And, and those of you who believe, all right, because there's going to be men, women and children believing, refusing this thing too. They're going to make it. Um, but this is just plain to see, man. Let, let's start with that scripture. Ecclesiastes, um, or Sirach. Chapter 39 and verse 24, as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Right. And first and foremost, you you wicked Israelites who are coming against the truth and, uh, you know, regarding this uh, matter. And this is a life. This is a life or death issue. 
Okay? Because if you, again, if you capitulate, you can look that word up, and you allow Esau and, and his elites, okay, these international bankers, if you allow them to, to turn you into a cyborg, all right, to turn you into a robot, you know, uh, the only, you won't wind up in the lake of fire. Okay, and that's 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 known as the second death in the Bible, and you don't want no part of that. Okay, so let me read this again. Sirach chapter thirty nine and verse twenty four. As his ways are plain unto the holy, see these things are plain to see through the spirit. If the Lord is dealing with you, all right, you can see World War Three on the horizon. You can see Jacob's trouble about to break uh, about to uh, you can see all hell about to break loose. Okay, you can see a famine of hearing this word is coming. You know, these things are plain. You know, you can, you can just, like Yahweh Shah said to them wicked scribes and Pharisees in Matthew 16. I'll get that. Anyway, let me finish this up. As his ways are planted to the holy sword, they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Right. They stumbling blocks. The Lord, the Lord will throw out stumbling blocks, all right, to flush the undesirables right out of there, man. Because he don't want two-thirds of his own people getting this. So whatever he's got to do, you know, you might not be able to um, receive. All right. For example, that only Israel can be saved. That might be a stumbling block to you. And the Lord might use that to keep you out of the truth. Same way he's using this, this, you know, uh, this um, MOTB, all right, being the CF. He's using that, OK, to, to get rid of to get rid of you undesirables. OK, whatever he's got to do. All right. Um. And I and I could go on, all right? It's plenty of stumbling blocks that the Lord throws out there, okay? To, uh, you know, to 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 make sure not everyone gets it. And that sounds weird, and that sounds um uh, strange, you know, to the, the average uh, listener. But that's just the truth, man. You know, that might sound harsh, but that's just the truth, man. The the, the Lord, the God of this Bible, he's a he's a cold blooded power, man. He uh, he he is a uh, he's nothing to be fucked with. All right, at all. Um, let's get this in. Um, what did I say? Matthew sixteen. Yeah, where Yahweh says he's getting on them wicked scribes and Pharisees about them. <laughs> they was able to tell what kind of weather. All right, they were going to have from day to day by looking at the sky. All right, but they, they they could do that. They could see that, but they couldn't discern the signs of the times. All right, Matthew chapter sixteen and verse one. The Pharisees, also with the Sadducees, came and tempting, desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said, verse 2, unto them, when it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, verse 3, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Right. You know, they was asking for a sign from heaven. You know, it, the, the sign was the, 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 the prophet. The sign right now is the prophets are on the highways and byways teaching. That's the sign. OK. And a lot of you can't receive that. You you'll look at um, these other camps who might look better, you know, with the, you know, the, the, the new garments. And, and, you know, they might they might be looking better. OK. But then, you you know, then you'll look at. You know, the men in gray millstone, you say, oh, they got, they just, you know, there's no, they don't got the uniforms on. They don't look the part, right? Yeah, man. I, you know, you want, you want to know why? Because you're wicked, man. You know, you wicked, you work, you look it on the outward and, and that's what you focusing on. Okay. You, you're focusing on outward appearance. All right. When the Lord looks at the heart or mind. All right. But bottom line is, man, that, that's the sign right now. The prophets is out, you know, uh, uh Bring, bringing, bringing that word to you, all right, and you are steady rejecting it, okay, and really that's an act of mercy that the Lord sent his men, you know, which he he's done that, you know, uh, throughout history. He'll raise up the prophets and send them out, okay, to speak to you. And what 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 do you, what do you do to them? You kill them, stone them, crucify them, saw them in half, you know. You hate that bloods on your hands. You gonna have to you gonna have to you gonna have to pay for all that, all right. So yeah, let's 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 get into this hour of temptation though. This is what's coming. That hour, hold on. 
First Peter chapter five, something just came to my mind. And um Nope. Was I was I wrong? Maybe it's four. I know it's first Peter, and I can't remember if it's chapter four or five. Yeah, it is four. Okay, yeah, hey, man, the end, we at the end, man. We at the end. We at the end of this uh, kingdom. We're at the end of this rulership, the end of this age, in this world. Okay, so, you know, this is the most important thing on the table right now. Okay, is knowing what this is and then refusing it. All right? Um, having faith, man, you know, having faith that the Lord will be with you, even if, even if it means, you know, you have to, uh, you know, you have to die for the truth. All right. Um, first Peter's chapter four and verse seven, but the end of all things is at hand, right? The end of all things is at hand. Okay. It says, be therefore sober and watch under prayer. So yeah, man, first and foremost, so, sobriety, you know, is a twofold meaning, you know, obviously, you know, you don't want to stay drunk in a physical sense all the time. You can't do that. But also, um, first and foremost meanings being sober spiritually okay in other words you being in the right frame of mind spiritually being in the truth okay hanging on and, and, and clinging and holding fast to the doctrine all right not being tossed to and fro okay by all these other wayward philosophies and, and ideologies being pushed out here you know not only by jake but then you got you know the wicked you got wicked false prophets among all the nations you know eat them eat them you got wicked false prophets among, you know, among the nation of Edom, all right, Esau. All right, again, it starts with his elites, and you got, you know, you got false prophets among the, the nations. Okay, so being sober is first and foremost being sober in the spirit. Okay, staying staying in the spirit. Okay, staying in that doctrine. You know, um, so let's get into the uh, book of Revelation. And that our temptation's coming. No? And, 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 and like the elders say, you know, um, or like we all say, through the Spirit, if you don't like, if you don't like the videos, you don't like the topics, you, you got choices, you know? Go hang out with the IUIC. Go hang out with the ISUPK. Go hang out with the uh, um, FOPI. Go hang out with one body in your house. Side. Go hang out with... um. You know, these other can the Sakari. You know? You ain't got to listen to the videos. These videos, this the, the truth is for the elect lambs. All right? The elect lambs will be drawn to this preaching because faith cometh by hearing. And no one else really matters. Okay? So you don't like the topics. You know, you don't like what the prophets are saying. Hey, you know, <laughs> change the channel. All right. Revelation chapter three and verse 10, because thou hast kept that word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. OK, so he's going to he's going to be dealing with his elect men. All right. And the elect and that remnant. All right. During this hour, which is not a literal, you know, <laughs> 60 minute period of time okay the hour of temptation it, 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 it's it's getting ready to go down that's when they're that's when they're gonna say all right that you have to have this in order to buy or sell that's going to be that hour okay so you got to be able to resist that and and another reason to talk about it you know uh, uh constantly okay is is because it's also reminding us man when we speak these things we're talking to ourselves too so we're reminding ourselves over and over and over again. Hey, this is what it is. This is coming. So when it actually and when it actually goes down and it comes to pass, we're gonna we're gonna have enough grounding, all right, and be rooted enough, okay, to get through it. All right. So these, this this is also <laughs> when we're um, doing these lessons, we're, we're we're talking to ourselves too. You think we're just talking to y'all? We're talking to us. We're talking to ourselves. We're preaching to ourselves, okay? We're going to have to have a lot of money in our spiritual bank accounts, okay? We're going to have to have a lot because you want to know why? We're going to need to make a lot of withdrawals during this time that's coming, 
Okay. So the more, you know, you hit on it. Okay. The more of a reminder. Okay. And, 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 and the better shots you got at making it again, when, when, uh, this is officially mandated throughout the four corners of the earth, cause this isn't going to be just something that happens in America. I mean, this is going to be on a global scale, you know, you, I mean, again, you see that everything going toward the CBDCs that's going to, you know, this summer, you know, could be, you know, it could, this thing could go down this year. It very well could, it might not, but the infrastructure is in place. And all they need is the right crisis, okay? To, to they're gonna create that chaos so they can bring order out of that chaos. That's that's their whole, that's one of their mantras. And that uh, that demon who uh, worked for Obama back in what was that? Well, when Obama was a senator in Illinois, I think one of his cabinet members was was Rahm Emanuel when he became president. I know Rahm Emanuel was in his cabinet. I can't remember his title. But but see he what, what did he say? He said we never let we're never going to let a good crisis go to waste. Okay, you can see him collapsing the border. You see him bringing down the banking, you know, a system. Okay, so it's fixing to get stirred up over here. So that hour is at hand, all right. And the the promise is that he's going to have men, women, and children that get through that hour. That's a promise. I'm not going to read, you know, Revelation 13, we all know it. Karagma, it's the C-H-I-P, it's the C-H-I-P. All right, it's it's not Christianity, it's not homosexuality, it's not uh <laughs> it's not a trade embargo. Okay, it's not it's not none of those things. This is a physical mark. Okay, this is, you know, I said it. You know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll let the video stay up. This is a physical mark. Something that's going to be inserted into your body, either in one of your hands or your forehead. Okay? Because Jackie Light said, well, in, in Revelation 13, it said right hand. But in Revelation 14, it just says hand. Right. Either your right or your left one. Okay? That's how that's how Jake is. Jake is smart ass, sarcastic, and, and always looking for loopholes. Okay? It's going to be put somewhere in your body that's easily scanned. Okay? Which would make sense. Your right hand, your left hand your forehead all right so yeah i'm not gonna read um revelation 13 let's go to revelation 14 because this is the this is the ramification for taking it okay this is the ramification there are heavy ramifications for taking this thing all right revelation chapter 14 and verse 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast okay we know what the beast is, all right, and his image, all right. What is that? What does it mean by his image? Well, that's the white Jesus picture. No, <laughs> it goes a whole lot deeper than just a picture of Caesar Borgia. His image is his construct, his new world order system, his setup, okay, and everything that comes along with that. That's the image, all right. It says. If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, see, it didn't, it didn't, <laughs> you know, hey, either your right or your left. It says, it says what? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. So you're going to drink that wine, man. Yahweh's going to put a big cup of wine in front of you and force you to drink it. And you're not going to like it. All right. Because that's, that's a picture of him pouring out his wrath. All right. It says, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire. Listen, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. Now, does that mean they're going to be underground, being tormented by red devils and goblins with pitchforks? No. The lake of fire is going to be right in America as a result of the ICBMs hitting this place and the chariots blasting this place. All right. This place is going to be on fire. It's going to be turned into a lake of fire. Okay, it says, verse 11, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, right? A long period of time, okay? Because the scriptures talks about all Israel being saved at some point. Uh, that's uh, Romans, the 11th chapter, okay? It just means a long period of time. However long the Lord wants you to 
to burn in it, okay? And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship, worship the beast, okay, and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Okay, so that's, isn't that, isn't that a, a <laughs> reason enough to be harping on this topic so much, to be talking about it constantly? And, you know, we're not going to stop talking about it. It's not like we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and go, oh, you know what? Them, them dudes at the IUSCD, right? We don't need to be talking about this anymore. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's what we're supposed to speak the words of prophecy into the ears of you Israelites. That's what we're supposed to do. And how that's accomplished is by doing these videos and these videos get shared. And, you know, the Lord has lambs listening listening to the, uh, you know, the apostles, the, the, you know, the bishops, the elders. And all the brothers doing his work, okay? Um, so, yeah, why, we're not going to stop, okay? And so now the Lord, now the Lord said, hold on, now let's get this. Because <laughs> that family hearing the words coming. So when that, when that pops off, you know, we're not going to be out on the highways no more doing videos. All right, so at that point, you know, we will be shut up. OK, but until that day, brothers is going to keep on speaking. Let's see. That's Ezekiel, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I love this scripture. I hadn't brought this out. I hadn't brought this out in a minute. So let's let's get this in Ezekiel 3 and verse 26. Now, Ezekiel represents the men of the Lord, right? The 144,000. OK, um. Ezekiel chapter 3 and get right to the point, verse 26, it says, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Right? So there's going to come a point in time, okay, again, when Amos chapter 8, verses 11 through 13 comes to pass, where we're not going to be reproving Jake no more. We're not going to be speaking. We're not going to be rebuking we're not going to be edifying that's going to be over all right that's going to be during jacob's trouble okay so this isn't going to be you know some of y'all i like this internet thing is just going to continue on forever man that's your inward thought is that this it's just going to be status quo all right forever and ever no it's not it's getting, your life your lives my life your lives are, are getting ready to to, to fundamentally change all right, either they're going to change for the worse, all right, or the Lord is going to preserve you through this mess, all right, known as Jacob, uh, Jacob's trouble, time of great tribulation. That's all I got, real impromptu. We won't keep on harping on it, man. Keep telling you, all right, what it is, okay, and keep telling you that you got to refuse it or else you're going to perish. All right, Lord willing, you edify with that. I want to say shalom.